Hello everyone, this is financial author Ahmed Dan of AhmedDan.com. On this channel, you'll find financial, travel and more videos just like the one you're watching right now. If you like what you see, please give it a thumbs up and consider subscribing. Hello everyone, this is Ahmed Dan of AhmedDan.com. Today, I'll have another episode of unboxing and brief review of a travel charger slash travel adapter uh, or travel converter uh, this is uh, Lemigo travel adapter universal travel charger so the reason I like this this one should have uh, USB output so whenever you travel uh, these days usually all the electronic uh, accessories or gadgets are USB powered so for that reason You'd, uh, it's better to have a USB travel adapter rather than having a regular adapter. I do have a regular travel adapter which I'll show you at the end. And let's uh, go through some of the specs of this product. Uh, and before that, I'd like to mention that this is not a paid or affiliated review. I purchased this with my own money. So the opinions are totally honest and unbiased. So now the some of the specs are that this should work in 150 countries around the globe this is all in one all in one travel charger du dual usb ports adapter and you can charge simultaneously uh, more than one device and it has a safety protection so it has a built-in safety shutters so which is supposed to protect your uh, devices and the travel adapter performs very well under 100 to 240 volt uh, so which is that you know uh, anywhere you go most of the countries uh, you're covered and this is a very lightweight portable and uh, so let's uh, go ahead with the unboxing and see what's in here and uh, the total video shouldn't be more than 10 minutes okay so I'll open up here Okay, so here is our adapter and looks like the box is empty here and uh, we even have a small card which is user, user manual. Okay, so that's a good thing that they touched something here. Uh, it's a very uh, small, it's like a flip card. So I'll just... Uh, put it aside here for now and let's get going with the real product okay so here is what I have so it looks like this way and I'll just try to uh, open it up and then okay actually it looks like I don't have to even open it up so if you want the pin to come out so you have to push it this way and then so if you do it like this then here is the standard two pin this should work in USA Japan Australia and Thailand so you can retract it and then if you have if you want this one to come out this is mostly in Asia so just do it this way and then you can just plug it in here and then here I can see another switch let's take see what happens when you push it okay so this one is it says here that UK and I cannot read the other country it could be Great Britain okay so this is another it should go this way so which is good and here are the two USB ports so this is USB 1 and USB 2 and I believe these are USB 2.1 output so which is fast but not too fast which should be okay it doesn't have to be uh, really fast and then once you lit uh, it in there should be a light somewhere which I'll test very shortly 
I think uh, I don't think you can actually open this up that what I was expecting but which is fine now I'd like to show you something else I had purchased a adapter in the past which is like this and you can just you know open up the whole thing so for example you can it comes out this way and then it comes out this way so everything is like a removable uh, and then you can put it back this way and then everything goes inside this way now the problem with this one that it doesn't have USB output so for that reason I bought the a new one uh, this type of uh, travel adapter actually costs almost half of this one so if you are buying something just make sure that it has USB output because USB output is the one you'll be using most of the time uh, this is only good for like you know uh, product or electronic uh, equipments without USB input but nowadays everything has USB uh, input for example camera cell phone or anything possible you can think of so I think this is just a waste of money so for that reason you should get something which has USB output so you don't have to buy more than one so now what I'll do I'll put it uh, into the power outlet then I'll I'll show you uh, how it looks like uh, if there's a light or if you can see something is lit and if it works so just give me a second here so you have a standard 110 120 output here and I'll just uh, take out the pin for the Canadian or US uh, outlet so it should be uh, this way okay so I'll just push it in here okay so as you can see I see that there's a red light but it's gone oh actually yes it came back so I believe as long as the light is lit it means that it's connected and now what I can do if I push uh, if I put my phone uh, in here so I have my one plus one phone here and I'll try to charge this using the USB output and see if it works okay so this is the USB uh, cable so I'll just put it in here and okay so I put it there and I don't know why it's sometimes losing the power so it could be that it's not just tight enough okay so which is right here so this light is lit and it's red so that means that it's working and it's charging so this is this works however sometimes looks like it's losing the connection so I don't know that if this is my uh, my, the problem with my outlet or this is the problem with this product so that I'm not sure but I can, what I can do I'll just put it in here and okay so it's on right now and it's charging here so the good thing is having a light is that you can see that you know if it's on or not so if it's not on that means that it's not working then you have to just you know push it a little bit uh, to make it work however looks like i'm having a little bit difficulty with this particular outlet so at this point i'm not sure that this is the problem with this product or this is the problem with the outlet however as you can see once it move a little bit then it just uh, works fine so it's good this way okay so in terms of uh, the price and everything this is not uh, this is a very well priced product uh, and this is about below $20 Canadian you can find easily on Amazon or probably other at other retailers uh, it's called let me go travel adapter but there are similar products which you can find uh, with different brand names and different uh, manufacturers so whenever you're buying something just make sure that you have the USB outlet and it has uh, it covers most of the countries and it has the surge protection uh, which is very important to have 
because uh, that way your d device will be protected uh, once you travel or once you ha you're in a foreign country because some foreign countries the power uh, supply is not so stable and it fluctuates uh, it's not like in Canada or USA that you're getting steady uh, output or steady power all the time I have seen uh, I have had uh, situations in the past where I was traveling to Asia or in the Caribbean and my devices got uh, broken or got uh, messed up because of the power problem. However, this is a very good feature to have the surge protection. So that will wrap up my uh, review of this product. Uh, if you like what you see, please give it a thumbs up and consider subscribing. And there will be more videos coming up like this. Thank you for watching and I'll see you shortly.